Global Trend again. Uh, nandito tayo ngayon sa aking uh, isa sa mga clients for uh, IT Solutions. So basically, this is one of the hotels in Baguio City where I was tasked to provide an IT solution from structure cabling, uh, design ng network, Wi-Fi, and basically the whole IT solution itself. So right now, patapos na yung building in terms of its construction. Makikita niyo na nandito na yung mga cables natin for the structure cabling. Um, sayang kasi hindi natin naabutan yung landa na hihila kami ng kable sa ceilings going to the electrical room, but for now, um, let's start with terminating uh, yung isa sa mga network connection ports natin. So, ang design ko for this hotel is yung structure cabling niya is a mix of fiber and copper. So basically, yung distribution point coming from uh, the IT room itself going to the individual floors, naka-fiber optic yun. But from the electrical room, going to the individual na kwarto sa hotel natin are all copper for distribution. Okay? So, yung um, cables natin that we use coming from the electrical room going into this uh, the hotel rooms or the, the individual hotel rooms are all category 6 cables. So, CAT6 kasi um, I went with the CAT6 cable para medyo future-proof na yung hotel for the next 10 years in terms of cabling standards. So, hindi na ako nag-start with CAT5, I started with CAT6. So, what we will do right now is mag-terminate tayo ng isang Category 6 cable. Now, itong pag-terminate ng Category 6 cable is very different from terminating a Category 5 cable. Kasi, yung, key, yung RG45 ng CAT6 is different from the RG45 ng CAT5. So, kapakita ko sa inyo. So, this is um, one of our equipment. So this are uh, this is oh, uh, these are all category six RJ45. May kita niyo dalawa yung laman niya. Yung standard RJ45 niyo and this plastic things. So kung ano yung isa. Right, so let's get one. Magdan natin dito. And kung tahan ng isang load bar. Ang tawag dito is a load bar. Okay, so um, FYI pala, I'm a certified uh, uh, Belden Structured Cabling Contractor So, ibig sabihin um, Nakukontrata ako basically For uh, Structured Cabling So, yan ang kagandahan sa IT um, Hindi lang, hindi ka lang pwedeng um, Maging empleyado Pwede ka rin sumidline sa labas okay? For any Anything na specialty mo, whether um, solution for servers, networking, structured cabling, um, Wi-Fi. So aside from being an employee, pwede ka rin sumidline sa labas for extra income. So, ito. So may kita niyo, lagyan natin dito sa, sa cover ng uh, plastic jar natin, dalawa yung parts. This is the RJ45 and the load bar. Now, itong load bar na to, ito yung magka-guide ng Category 6 cables natin papasok sa RJ45. Okay, so let's start terminating this cable. So, makikita ninyo, this is a standard Category 6 cable. Medyo madumi na siya because of all of the construction. So, ang gagawin natin, I have my terminator equipment here. Later, papakita ko sa inyo yung buong laman niya. But this is a cable stripper and cutter. So, ang gagawin natin, we will strip the cable. para maputol natin yung coating niya, yung plastic coating niya. Okay. Now, ang difference between a Category 5 and Category 6 is sa Category 6, meron tayong plastic divider sa loob. Okay. This plastic divider is what guides the cables para even yung pagka-twist sa loob okay. inside our uh, main cable itself. So, may kita niyan, yan. Okay. Andiyan yung four pairs natin and the plastic divider. So, uh, ang itsura nan sa loob, kung hindi pa natin siya nababalatan, is ganito. Tigi isa siyang uh, plastic pair sa loob ng divider. So, ayusin na ulit natin. Okay. So, ganyan siya. And, nakatwist siya ng ganito. So, you will see, even yung pagka-distribute ng, ng pairs natin sa loob ng cable. 
So, when terminating category 6, ang gagawin natin is fill back muna natin yung individual pairs. Okay. Then, we need to cut the plastic uh, <coughs> dividers sa loob. Uh, sa, sa gitna pala. So, tutuloy lang natin siyang ganyan. Then, it's now time to terminate the cables. So, ang sinusunod kong standard lagi in terms of straight-through cables is T568B. So, mas familiar ako sa T568B kaysa sa T568A. So, yung A standard or B standard, ang tawag ng iba. So, majority ng mga IT na nakikita ko, nahihirapan sila mag-terminate uh, uh, ng mga kable ganito. But there's, a very, uh, there's an easier trick to do this. So, Ang ginagawa kasi ng iba, so let's hide muna that pair. Ina-untwist nilang ganito, tapos iniisa-isa nilang straighten up. Medyo uh, matatagal lang ka when you're doing it like this. So, ang technique dyan is kapag medyo banking pa yung individual pair, okay, banking mo lang siyang ganun, pull it, then straighten it. Okay. So, mag-terminate tayo ngayon. So, Ito, this is yung orange pair. So, E568B, yung B standard. White, orange, orange. Then, white, green. Then, blue and white, blue. Na mapapansin nyo, meron tayong parang thread dito. Okay? Ang tawag dito is a ripcord. Ripcord is pangbalat siya. Manual siyang pangbalat ng kable. So, later, puha tayo ng isang uh, spare cable. Then, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ba ginagamit tong record na to. So, let's go first with terminating this one. So, so white, orange, orange, white, green, then blue. Okay. So, ang technique ko when terminating cables, okay, I always hold it like this on my left hand. Okay. Then, iniisa-isa kong ginagayad yung individual pairs going to my left hand. Okay, so medyo bumpy-bumpy pa siya. So let's straighten it up. Okay. So white orange orange, white green, then blue white blue. Okay. Nakita niyo medyo uh, hindi pa sila dikit-dikit, but ang isang technique para dumikit sila, hold to uh, hold the both ends tapos ishimin niyo lang na ganyan. Okay? I-shake nyo lang siya. Kusa siyang ditikit mag-isa. Okay? With the other cables. Then, so, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green. Then, shimmy mo ulit. Okay? Then, kun natin yung white, brown, and brown. Okay? So, white, brown, and brown. So, shimmy mo lang. Okay. Ang standard for structured cabling, ito laging itong hindi pinuputol. This is to ensure na pag kailangan mo nang balatan yung cable and wala kang tools, katulad ng cutter ko, you can easily pin it back. So, uh, yun yung pagkakamali ng ibang nagtiterminate. They always cut this cable. That's wrong. Dapat meron kang nakaiwan. Okay. In terms of uh, structured cabling. Okay. So, Yan na siya. So, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. And they are evenly attached with each other. Okay. So, using lang natin ng konti. Okay. So, kung medyo banking yung nandito sa bandang dulo, sa end ng coating mo, ikot mo lang siya. It's okay. So, yan. Now, we're, get, we're gonna get the uh, crimper sa aking uh, termination bag. So, this is uh, one of our crimpers. Okay. So, ang number one na tanong sa akin kung minsan, ano ba sir yung length na uh, kailangang ikat pag ganito kahaba? Well, it depends really eh, dun sa tirada mo kung uh, gano'ng paliit yung kamay mo kung minsan or gano'ng kakagaling uh, mag-crimp. 
uh, going to the RG45. Pero uh, for this case, matay na cutter natin. Okay. Now, we need to cut this kasi med medyo mahaba na siya for for RG45. So we need to cut it okay. at a slight angle. Kita nyo, ganyan. Then, so, bulsa ko na lang dito. Sa ating bulsa ng cutter. Okay. Uh, crimper dito muna sa likod. So, ang una natin gagawin, kukunin natin yung load bar. So, the load bar is what will arrange the cable itself. Okay. Pag pinasok mo na siya sa yung RJ45. So, makikita ninyo, this is the load bar. You have to make sure na nasa tamang orientation siya. Mayroon siyang patusok dito. That should always be, yung patusok na yan, should always be at the top. So, pag siniksik mo ito, okay, that will arrange yung cables mo inside. So, what you need to do for the load bar, isiksik nyo siya hanggang dun sa dulo ng inyong coating. So, ayan. So, nakaayos na siya. Okay. Now, what we need to do, kailangan natin putulin yung extra dito kasi hindi yan magkakasya sa ating RJ45. Okay. So, that's a clean cut. Now, next natin gagawin, I get the RJ45 itself. And, isisiksik natin siya. Oops. Medyo gumalaw ang ating load bar. So, buwasan natin siya ng konti ulit. So, kung wala kayong cutter na ganito, um, kung may gunting, pwede rin namang gunting ang gamitin niyo Later, papakita ko sa inyo, may gunting ako sa aking termination kit. And, gunting naman ang gagamitin natin. So, what we need to do, okay, may kita ninyo, andyan yung load bar. Okay, it goes inside your RJ45. Okay. Yan. Okay. Yan. Okay, may kita nyo, it's all evenly spaced. Tama yung combination ng ating uh, category 6 cable. Nandun yung load bar. It easily slugged in inside. Then, the only thing to do is crimp it. Now, ang technique ko sa pag-crimp, okay, I don't do it yung biglaan. I always do it slowly para nakikita ko kung kumakagat nga yung ngipin ng RJ45 natin doon sa mga individual pairs ng cable. So, just do it slowly. Okay. So, then, inspect mo. Medyo okay naman, okay? So, tinitignan ko ngayon, okay naman yung pagkakagat, then, isa pa. So, that's it. This is a Category 6 termination using a Category 6 RJ45. May kita ninyo, okay? Yung coating natin is way inside the RJ45 and kinagat na naka-inplace siya using yung clip ng RJ45 that will hold the cable in place inside the RJ45 itself. So this is a clean termination for category 6. Sa RJ45 kasi ng cat 5, wala tayo yung load bar, siksik mo lang sa loob kaagad, then crimp. But category 6 requires us to use the load bar itself kasi kung wala kang load bar sa loob, madaling matanggal yung kable. Okay? So, yan siya. So, bakit ganito ang termination natin? Um, Kasi, uh, usually, ang, ang standard, meron tayong keystone jack dito. So, kukuha ko ang keystone jack. Something like this. Okay. Dapat ganito ang, ang termination. But, for this case kasi, uh, hindi ito standard wall outlet. Ang inalagay ko dito, and, uh, yung solution ko for this hotel is, each individual room ng hotel ay may sariling access point. A uh, wall out. Uh, uh, in wall ang tawag natin. Okay. Ang gagamitin natin access point dito is ubiquity in wall. 
So I'm also a uh, distributor ng Unify, also Lakas. So I'm a certified uh, Ubiquiti Enterprise Wireless Specialist and also a Rakas Wise Guy uh, Specialist. So certified ako to install both uh, products. So now since construction pa lang tayo, hindi magandang iwan yung kable natin ng ganito kasi syempre maraming kumuha labas pasok sa mga kwarto doing yung uh, construction uh, works nila. So ang ginagawa ko, now tinatago ko siya sa loob ko muna. Para pagbabalikan ko siya to do the labeling and installation ng wireless access point, uh, hindi siya nagagalaw ng ibang tao. Okay. So now let's move to the other one. So, ito po na yung termination kit ko. Okay. So, kung makukontrata kayo for structured cable, um, well, crimper. Kung minsan, you can go by or pass by with a crimper lang. Okay. Pero syempre, your work will be slower kapag crimper lang ang gamit mo. And dapat magandang classic crimper. So, itong gamit na to, this is my termination kit. Okay. So, mag-invest ako for uh, this uh, equipment para pag nakakontrata, mabilis mo turn here. So, kompleto to sa lahat ng gamit. So, let's go here. Now, for this case naman, uh, dito, hindi tayo gagamit ng RJ45, hindi na tayo gagamit ng standard keystone jack. Ang gagamitin natin is a plate specifically designed for this uh, wall outlet. Okay. So, itong wall outlet natin has yung switches for the lights. Okay. Meron tayong saksakan for chargers. Meron din siyang USB for charging your phones. Now, dito sa kapila, okay, we will put yung specialized uh, keystone jack with plate. Okay. So, itong uh, brand na to is uh, Lucky Electric. So this was specifically bought by the owner, okay, for uh, the use in the hotel. Now, medyo hindi ka makabili ng ganito outside. Uh, you have to buy this specifically from the manufacturer. So may kita nyo, ayan siya. May computer dyan, okay. So you just, oops, just put, pull this back in and dyan, and dyan na yung keystone jack sa loob. Now at the back, medyo iba yung, uh, yung style ng pag-terminate ng keystone jack na to. Nakikita ninyo, hindi siya keystone na gagamit ng 110 block. Ito has already yung plastic cover na pag binaba mo yung, yung plastic cover and nandun na sa loob yung individual pairs, kung saan na siyang kakagat sa blade okay, ng ating keystone jack. Now, Mapapansin nyo sa keystone jack, meron tayong guide dito for the A standard and the B standard. So, may kita nyo, yung A, ito yung sa baba, yung color combination na kailangan masundan, and yung B is yung sa taas. Now, makikita nyo, yung color combination niya, hindi yung parang sa RG45 na white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue. May kita nyo dito, nauna yung white orange, orange, white green green, white blue blue, white brown brown. Okay? So bakit ganun? Di ba dapat sundan natin yung B standard pero dito parang hindi sinusunod. Well, actually, naka B standard pa rin to. It's just that yung internal circuit tree na ng keystone jack natin ang bahalang mag-convert noon into the proper feeling ng RJ45 natin for the B standard. So what we need to do is get na yo Stripper. Okay, so pull it out the Let's start from scratch. So, let's put the palette in the middle. So, very funny. It will strip the cable. Okay, that will. Strip the cable itself, your coating is in the mass, protective coating. Para patinig lang mo, ayos yun ka. Then, 
Balatan natin siya para sa atin. Para maka-isolate natin yung plastic divider sa tignan. Then, we'll cut also again the plastic divider. So now, pusundan natin yung keystone jack. So let's put the keystone jack here. Wala pa namang kuryente yung ating electrical outlet kasi nakapatay pa sa breaker so that we will be safe in manipulating this electrical wires. So makikita ninyo. Let's put it here. Unahin natin yung orange. Then green, then blue, then brown. So orange, blue. Okay. Then green, blue, then brown. Twist natin ito. Teknik pa rin natin para mag-straighten yung cables natin. So, let's put that there. Yeah, that's for the green pair. Yung blue pair na rin natin. Next. And then, the brown pair. So, may kita nyo. You have to put each individual pair dito sa loob. May kita nyo, may blade siya sa loob para pag binaba natin yung plastic cover, babalatan niya to and yung blade will contact with the copper wire sa loob. Thus, conducting yung electricity natin. Okay? Going from your individual pairs dito to inside of your keystone jack. So, dito medyo mapapalaban tayo kasi Actually, I've been terminating this one for a couple of days now. Yung itong kwarto, uh, tapos ko na siya. But for this uh, case, itong kwarto na to, uh, we need to do it. So, may kita nyo, orange, muna. Then, followed by the green pair. So, yung isa-isa ko siya. Right there, so that's the blue white green. Then, next naman yung green. Okay. Medyo mahirap tong keystone jack na to. <laughs> uh, because it's specialized. Itong plate na to, and this keystone jack is made specifically for hotel use lang. Okay. So, hindi mo to basta-basta mabibili sa labas. So, let's go with the... Let's go with the white blue. And the blue. Okay. So as I mentioned kanina, it's not following the P568B uh, it's, it's still following the P568B standard pero yung paglagay natin ng cables is a bit different kasi kailangan natin sundan yung manufacturer instruction dito. Okay, then the brown for the last pair. Okay. And white. Uh, the brown side, the solid brown. Yeah. So, may kita niyo, it's now following the correct standard for the B. So, orange, green, blue, and brown. Orange, green, blue, and brown. So, what's left there to do is, ibaba natin ito. Para kagatin niya individual pairs niya. Okay. Ipot ko lang. Ang medyo mga hirap siyang ibaba. Okay, so yan. And as you can see, ayan. Okay. Each individual pair is kinagat na ng blade ng ating keystone jack. Okay. Ayan. So this is our specialized keystone okay, for this blade. So ang gagawin lang natin, atake lang natin ito sa likod. Okay. Now, ang number one uh, problema when, or ang um, number one issues pag nagka-terminate yung iba, sinasagad nila dito. That's wrong. So, kapag nagka-terminate ka or nakamontrata ka for structured cabling, dapat meron kang awang na at least 1 to 2 feet. Ang tawag dito is a service loop. Ang gamit ng service loop is that pag nag-terminate ka, okay, for example, in the future, kailangan mo yung i-terminate ito, meron ka pang sobrang pwedeng paglaruan up until here. 
Kasi pag hindi ka nagdiwa ng service loop, at sakto lang yung kable mo until the break itself. And in the future, kailangan mong ayusin or bawasan yung kable, may problema ka na nun. Okay? Wala ka ng pagkitriman. Kailangan mong hilain coming from the inside of the uh, the wall itself. Okay? So, dapat lagi ka magdiwa ng service loop. So, let's put the keys here. Bagay natin yung cable natin na medyo malayo sa ating electrical wires because that's a very bad thing. So, nakikita nyo, ako na naman natira. Nakuuna na yung electrical contractor in terminating this plate. So, ayan. Then, babalik lang natin siya. And I'll just get yung aking Philips screwdriver. So, saan ba gagamitin itong network port na to? Okay. So, kung yung isa kanina is gonna be used for the Wi-Fi dedicated for this room, ito naman is for the phone sa tabi ng bed ng ating uh, hotel room. So, yung telephone na ginamit ko pala dito, yung solution ko for my telephone is medyo advanced. This hotel is using SEP telephony instead of analog or digital okay not like other uh, hotels na digital or analog lang yung two pairs lang ng gamit this hotel is using SIP technology so yung phones natin is using SIP yung tra yung PBX natin that controls all of the telephony system is SIP and um, yung outside uh, line natin going to PLDT or Globe is also using SIP so yan this is a properly permitted category 6. Okay. So, yung last na kailangan natin i-terminate for this room is yung telepono sa CR. Now, yung telepono sa CR is gonna use yung standard uh, keystone jack and the plate itself. Yung uh, wall plate natin. So, so, yung design ko for this hotel is that typically yung sa ibang hotel, dito kasi may sink siya. Okay. Diyan yung shower. Siyempre, dito yung ating uh, lavatory. <laughs> now, yung design ko for this uh, hotel is medyo hindi ako sumunod from other traditional hotels. Other traditional hotels kasi, yung telepono nila nandito sa tabi ng sink. Now, ang problema, when I have to take a call, uh, ito, galing from my experience, when I have Kapag naka-check in ako sa isang hotel, when I have to take a call sa my CR, I still have to stand here, face the sink, and get the telephone. Okay? Now, ang problema doon, kung minsan, medyo mahaba yung conversation. Okay? Uh, there are times na mahaba yung conversation with someone from the reception or uh, the staff of the hotel or uh, maybe an outside call coming from uh, one of your associates or our business partners uh, from outside the hotel and we have to call in to your room. Now, ang ginawa ko, yung telepono is nandito sa tabi ng ating lavatory. Para kapag gusto mo kumupo at may tawag ka, you just sit here and you can take the call. Hindi ka tulad yung ibang hotel na nakatayo ka dun sa wisin while uh, uh, doing the phone call. Mas komportable dito. So, for now, that's my design. So, let's try with this one. So, ang pakailanganin natin dito is a piece of that. So, we're going to take this on that. And then, we'll have our next regulation kit natin. So, ang kailangan din natin dito is our cutter. Ayan, yung ating cutter. And yung ating punch down. So, so, this is a brand of keystone jack. So, yung iba, ang tawag nila dito sa keystone jack is an IO port. Um, which is, medyo tama naman yung definition niya. But the actual uh, name of this device is a keystone jack. 
So this is a makikita niyo, it's a category 6 keystone gel. So, uh, sa structured cabling, ang number one na dapat din yung gawin is kapag nag-deploy tayo ng category 6 cable, then gagamit tayo ng category 5E RG45, hindi gagana yun. That's a wrong way to do it. Okay? You cannot mix category 6 equipment with category 5 equipment. Okay? Now, ano pa ang difference ng category 6 and category 5? Now, the category six. Okay. Like it, uh, we have because we are using the word wire gauge. Okay. Ano kiti sabi ng wire gauge na to? Wire gauge means the copper wire sa loob ng individual pairs mo has a different diameter. Okay. Than a category five. Okay. Sa category 5, ang wire gauge natin is nasa 24 AWG. Okay. AWG is wire gauge, ang tawag. Now, a category 6, ang wire gauge niya is 23 or 22. So, ibig sabihin, mas mataba yung copper wire nito kaysa sa standard RG45. Kaya ang tendency ng mga medyo hindi alam sa structure cabling, Kapag nag-deploy sila ng Category 6 at bumili sila ng RJ45 na Category 5 or Cat 5 RJ45, hindi pumapasak yung individual pairs nito sa loob ng Category 5 RJ45. Kasi nga, mataba versus a standard RJ, uh, a standard Cat 5 cable. So, ang kailangan mong gamitin talaga when you're terminating Category 6, dapat Category 6 equipment ang gamitin mo or tools ang gamitin mo. Kung category 5 naman, you need to be using category 5. Um, so, uh, for this hotel, yung patch panels ko sa electrical room is category 6 rated. Yung termination tools ko at saka kits ko for the individual rooms are category 6 rated. Pati yung specialized uh, plate natin for the hotel na tinerminate ko ng kanina is all category 6. So, so let's terminate na this cable gamit yung ating keystone jack. So sa keystone jack, nakita niyo para siyang para din siyang doon sa specialized plate na ginawa natin kanina. So nakita niyo this keystone jack has an A coding and a B coding for the P568A and P568B standard. Okay? Now, ang gagamitin ko is the T568B kasi yun yung mas uh, sanay ng lahat. Okay? So, how do we terminate a keystone jack? So, hindi tayo gagamit ng crimping tool dito. So, medyo ibang style. Okay? So, what we need to do is we need to follow yung coding sa gilid. So, ang gagawin natin, we put uh, ayusin muna natin yung ating color coding. So, may kita ninyo on the left side of the keystone jack, orange and blue. On the right side, brown and green. So, orange and blue, brown and green. So, kunin natin yan. Okay. We put it like this. Okay. So, medyo hanggang sa kalahat eh. Yung iba, sinasagad nila sa dulo. That's okay also. Yung iba naman, iniiwan nila dito sa dulo, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Mas madaling i-terminate to. The more that you put the cable inside, the harder it is to terminate. So, para sa akin, I always put it at the middle part. Okay. Para ma malinis siyang tingnan. So, may kita nyo, we're going to terminate the orange first. So, okay. Ang technique dito, you just have to loosen up yung twist niya. Okay. Then, we put it individually doon sa slots niya at the side. So, that's it. So, that's for the orange. This is the white orange. Okay. Next naman is the blue. So, na lang natin yung instruction ng ating uh, keystone jack. That's it. And then ito, we'll be put here. So, other side. So, we use it on that. Okay. So, if 
か剥がつのね。Okay. Then the next one, we need to do the other side. So, m o n a yung white brown sa taras. The brown. Then, the white green. And the green. Follows yung coding natin dito. So, once you have to... Um, Once you have installed your individual pairs, it's now time to use R110 punch down tool. Now, yung iba ang contractors or yung ibang gumagawa nito, what they do is they individually terminate it like this. Okay? Which is um, wrong kasi it's not very safe. Okay? Yung ginagawa ng iba, ganito eh. Okay? This is the wrong way to do it. Okay? Meron tayong specialized equipment for this one kasi Medyo mahipapansin nyo sa ating 110 block, uh, 110 termination uh, 110 termination impact tool may, ma, may ma, ma, matulis na part dito which is nakakasugat So what we need to use is ang ating termination plate So ang gagawin natin we slip it we slip this keystone jack dito okay. and this is much more safer to terminate So pwede mong i-terminate yan ng kamay or at the wall. So, paano pa gumagana tong punch down tool natin? One ten, uh, so, may kita nyo, this is the individual pair ng blue. Kapag pinunch down natin yan, may blade doon sa loob ng keystone jack that would cut yung individual pair natin para mag-connect yung uh, electrical wiring ng keystone and our cable. So, pag pinunch down natin to, sabay, pinuputol na rin ng punch down tool natin itong extra or yung sobrang kable okay let it so let's do the other one okay so makikita nyo that's neatly terminated so let's go with the other side ito pati yung kable para makita nyo so syempre you have to change yung orientation din ng mountain uh, ng punch down tool mo So this is a terminate, uh, fully terminated category 6 keystone jack. So ang uh, matitira na lang natin kailangan gawin, we put the, the cover on. So yan na siya. Okay. So bakit ganito ang itsura? Kasi meron tayong... Uh, let's get the plate. Let's get the plate natin. So, ito yung, ang tawag dito is a wall, uh, a face plate. Okay. Itong face plate na to, so yun yung screen yun. Okay. Ito yung may kita niya dito. Okay. So, kung may mga iba kayong locations or hotels na, or sa so office ninyo, may kita niyo, ang tawag dito is the face plate. So, ang mangyayari dito, we connect this one. Here, inside. Oops, I'm going to that. So, yun siya. Okay. Ito yung majority, sa majority ng offices and uh, workplaces ninyo. Ito yung nakikita nila. Okay? Sa dindig ng inyong office or sa lamesa ninyo. But ang itsura nito sa loob is actually like this. It has a keystone jack and the wire goes to the wall all the way to the electrical room or yung um, uh, IT room ninyo. Okay. So, may kita nyo, I still have yung aking uh, medyo marami pang bato. Yung <laughs> aking plate. So, I'm using yung aking yung aking utility box. Medyo nang slash yung kadali na construction. So, matago natin yung mga cables nito. Okay. Yeah. 
then, uh, then what's left to do is to put the screw here. Okay. Pero since medyo dislodged yung ating utility box, we have to uh, remedy this one. Pero hindi mo na sa ngayon kasi the construction is still ongoing. Pero pwede na natin siya yung main. So that's how you terminate a category 6 keystone gun with face plate. And then, and just put the individual screws. Okay. Yung telephone na natin, when we put here, nagbibigin lang kami dito ng mounting for the SIP telephone, then you can make it. But for now, so that's it for terminating category 6 cables. Nakita niyo yung different types from the standard category 6 RG45 to the specialized plate uh, to the normal keystone jack for category 6. So that's it Mona for this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. So just click the subscribe button sa baba and uh, click the bell button and I'll see you on my next video. Um, you can also connect with me via LinkedIn also and like then also our Facebook page um, Google. Okay. So that's it. I'll see you on the next video.